Speaking of art, martial art combines mind, body and spirit into one and, and in so doing liberates and nurtures the soul. I usually start my day with uh, meditation. Um, meditation really is, you know, the art of focusing one's awareness and attention. Why? Um, because our minds are usually overstimulated with too much information from media, from life. And sometimes that can lead to stress and anxiety. And by being able to focus one's mind and awareness and just allow the thoughts that you want into your mind, it brings a little bit of peace, certainly less stress, and it's really, really healthy and good for you. Also makes you a lot more productive as well. I love the physical sides of martial art because I think it enables me to fully express myself. And it's a lot of fun. And I've been doing it ever since I was about 10 years old. But I think that ability to express the human body, how can I express the human body, almost like a dancer. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, it brings so much joy and, and another way to express your emotions. Visual art is a wonderful art form. And sometimes when I see paintings, I really see music. It's almost like I see the visual artist painting sound. And when I see all the colors uh, on the canvas, sometimes I actually see musical notes. So it's a wonderful, a wonderful connection. And, um, you know, I had the opportunity to, uh, to spend some time with, with, with some of the great visual artists, the great contemporary visual artists that are really making an impact in the uh, visual art space globally in the world right now. This is Pedro Alatiche. I'm a mixed media artist. I paint and sculpt, and I'm also a writer. It's like asking what is breathing to you. Art for me is life. Art is who I am. It's a part of me. I'm a part of art. Art is like a living, breathing phenomenon that I am so privileged to be a part of. I've always been an artist. I've, I've, I've been an artist since I understood that I was an artist. Um, so it's, uh, it's a continuous journey of developing and knowing oneself. So I'm still learning to be an artist. When, you talk, when, when, when we talk about a civilized society, um, what do we define as a civilized society? I would say that it's a society that has an understanding of history, of its past, an in-depth understanding of themselves, the ability to be introspective, and um, a society that can create a person with these two ways of thinking, of understanding the past and understanding who they are and the world around them and the way the world works. And art really is that one ingredient that brings the two together. We know about the cavemen apart from um, what the archaeologists have dug up. We understand um, a lot about their culture based on the evidence that they have left behind by their art. Um, we understand different cultures in the past that are long gone based on what's left behind by their past. We understand the Egyptian empire based on their, what you call those things, calligraphy. So we understand um, the way they've lived based on what we see on the temples or on, based on what they have created. We understand their culture, we understand um, their way of thinking um, based on their creativity. And that's the evidence that we leave behind to the future generation. Uh, art really is a story of who we are. We tell a story of our civilization. Um, how important is this? How, is it, how, how important is it to know where you're from? That they say a man, um, a man is lost if he does not know where he's from. Um, understanding our ancestors, understanding the world around us, art gives us that opening. It's a key to seeing ourselves. You know, they say something about um, um, human beings being too myopic to see the bigger picture, but not myopic enough to see what's inside. Art gives you that key to what's inside to understanding a bigger picture. 
I'm also learning about acting and dramatic art. Absolutely, go at 55 and a half. Yes. Billy, Koye, get us in the lead position on the Chelsea merger. I want first money. Hold on. Mike, two seconds. Cynthia Koye. Hmm. The Scott deal doesn't look good to me. Just so you know. Billy, I'll call you back. Mike, I'll call you back. Cynthia, hold on just for a second. What's up? Uh, sorry about this. Not at all. Slow day. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, I wanted to let you know about the tip I got on the Gothner. Okay. Uh, they got a surprise product announcement coming up, and the stock's set to drop at the bell tomorrow. We ought to show it a bit hard. Steve's up client. Let him know. No, I didn't think to. It came to you first. It's a good tip. You'll play. But we short a client of us, and it causes a run of the stock. It's not right. People watch our trades for the lead. You gotta remember that. Take a tip if you want, though. Totally legal. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. I just, uh, I wanted to share that intel. Plenty of money we made in the sun. And the ones in the shadows go. That's my point. Good. But here, you know, she says she returns a smile. So do I start with that smile? Because now you're saying, now the stakes have changed. There shouldn't be a smile. I should be like, booming? I should be like, booming. Right. Uh, should be a different... Yes, okay. because now you're surprised. Yeah, now I'm surprised. She's what are you here doing? What are you, out of what are you doing? nowhere. Yeah, gotcha. Right? right, right She's right. here out of nowhere now, and yeah. you are totally confused by this right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you loosen up a little bit later when you, you know, get ready to ask her, you know, out to dinner or whatever, but for right now, it's like, it's like the ghost, like you're seeing the ghost. Yeah. You know? The okay. ghost of virginity's past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, ready? Whenever you're ready. Boom. I heard a rumor you were back in town. What? Why did you come and say I don't know. Thought I'd give you some time. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. When when she's talking, oh, yeah, we'll no, give her. you said it. You said yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's gonna give you the the, the counter emotion that you need to keep that scene, the emotion of this scene going. I'm with you, I'm with you. Let's go from the top. I started studying music at the age of seven. Um, I first played a number of stringed instruments before I s discovered the Spanish guitar. Or should I say the Spanish guitar discovered me? Uh, it's a sophisticated instrument, um, sophisticated art, lots of daily practice required. Uh, you've got to work your chops, which means you've got to practice the left hand technique and the right hand technique separately and then combine them together to eventually start playing and in doing so just sort of liberate your, your mind, express yourself in a way I guess I, I can't express in, in any other way, any other art form. Music expresses the inexpressible. What cannot be said, but must never be left unsaid. What matters to me is to dig so deep into the sound you make that you get to the, to the bottom of your sound. And in so doing, you get to the source of all sound. While you're there, 
anybody who's listening will feel that source, will, will, will experience something, something, something magical. And if anybody feels different after listening to you, after listening to that sound, feels better, then you, then you would have used your art to heal, which is the height really of any art form. And it's something which I aspire to do, you know, especially with music. There is no reminder of where ultimately we all come from and where ultimately we will all return. Art is what makes us human.